The Terra Cube is a brand new $200 smartphone from a company based up in Redmond, Washington that prioritizes sustainability with its environmentally friendly materials and its four year warranty. The warranty, it covers all parts, performance, labor, and two way shipping at no cost and even includes a free battery replacement. And if you happen to accidentally damage the phone and you just wanna replace the screen, it's only a $39 flat fee, which the company straight up loses money on but it's the price they say they're willing to pay until they can scale up the business. So as you can see, the packaging is essentially just a cardboard box with hardly any ink or branding because all of that stuff that may make for a good first impressions and unboxing video is not very good for the environment. So we have some TerraCube branding on the front and a couple of stickers around the box and that's it. Inside, we'll see hardly any plastic being used here. They're even trying to reduce paper waste. So we'll see a card that has a QR code for you to scan and view warranty and setup information. I think this is really cool. More smartphone companies should adopt this format. It also features a message from the CEO thanking you for your support and talking about the company's environmentally friendly approach with this product. Next, we'll see the TerraCube smartphone itself with a pre-installed silicone case. Even though it's nothing fancy, it's always nice to see a case included in the box. And along with that, we have a screen protector to keep this phone scratch and crack free. And we also have a SIM card ejector tool. Underneath, first, there is a pair of earphones with removable ear tips. There's a USB-C charging cable. And last but not least, we have a five amp USB wall adapter, which is a uh, kind of a bummer to see since this will not support any sort of up-to-date quick charging. Now, if we peel off the protective film, it'll reveal a thin 7.7 millimeter thick glass and metal build that feels like a mix between like an iPhone 8 Plus with the glass back and rounded aluminum frame and uh, a Pixel 3 XL with the rear facing fingerprint sensor. You got that notch and uh, clean Android software that we'll talk more about in a moment. We'll see there's some TerraCube branding on the back towards the bottom, and it says designed in Washington and assembled in China, similar to uh, an older iPhone. And there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top and a splash of color on the side in the form of a red power button. We also have a micro SD card slot to expand upon the 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Overall, this phone, it feels pretty comfortable in the hand, but it's on the big side, so you may need two hands to comfortably navigate the entire device. There's a 6.2 inch 1080p LCD display that has pretty solid viewing angles, fairly vibrant colors, but I will say it does pale in comparison if you compare it directly against something like a Samsung OLED display, but that's just the nature of Samsung and their super sharp high resolution displays. Thankfully, while the shape of the notch is similar to the Pixel 3 XL, it's nowhere near as obtrusive and you can hide it if it bothers you in the settings. It's also nice to see the display stretch to almost all four corners. The exception is a slight chin on the bottom. If you're a fan of Pixel phones, I think you'll really enjoy the extremely bare bones near stock Android software. Out of the box, it's running Android 9.0 Pi, but Android 10 is coming any day now. It's slated for spring 2020, so it should be here any day. Uh, we're going to see a super pure version of Android with hardly any added OEM features. Uh, I think this will help make the phone run fairly smooth with its, you know, middle of the road MediaTek P60 octa-core processor and six gigabytes of RAM. It should also make it easier for the company to send out updates because after all, TerraCube is supporting this phone for four years and there's no custom skin that TerraCube has to uh, design and change with each new Android update. Now, up to this point, uh, everything is looking pretty good for its price, but where I see this phone having issues is with the cameras. There's a 12 megapixel main and five megapixel depth sensor and a five megapixel selfie camera. Images from the main camera, they lack quite a bit of detail and they tend to come out a little bit overexposed and subjects will come out grainy in low lighting conditions. Of course, this is first impressions. We should see maybe some updates to the camera made over the next few days and weeks. The selfie camera is even worse though, as I haven't been able to capture any detailed selfies. They are almost all coming out blurry. 
The speakers are also fairly poor, they are bottom facing, and they sound like an AM radio station that just doesn't get very loud. I will say though, the 3400 milliamp hour battery should last a full day with some light to moderate usage, and while there's no wireless charging or any quick charging support, perhaps the redeeming quality is that it is covered by the warranty and it can be replaced for free. So it's a little too early to recommend this phone since it really comes down to whether or not TerraCube is true to their word and supports this device for the four years it's claiming. Only time will tell, but if you're willing to take the risk and you are looking for a phone with no bloatware, a premium design, and you don't plan on taking a lot of photos, you can pick this phone up for an early bird special of about $200, which is $150 off the suggested retail price. I'll place a link down below to check it out if you're interested. With that said, I'm curious to see what you think of the TerraCube smartphone. Is the four year warranty something that really interests you or do you think that's just too long to hold onto a phone before upgrading? Let me know. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I'll see you guys right back here in the next one. See ya.